Good afternoon everyone. This is your tutorial for making your candles at home. So if you buy your candle making kit, you will get five of these beeswax sheets. They're pure and handmade all in Western Australia from West Australian Beeswax. You will also get enough wick in your candle making kit to make either 10 standard dinner size candles or five thicker candles which are better for your heritage or um, older antique candle making candelabra sorry candelabras you can also if you want to be really tricky make a short thin short thick pillar or a medium sized pillar all of those take one sheet of beeswax but I'm just going to run you through how to make your standard dinner tapers using your sheet of beeswax, your wick and if it's cool on the day that you do it having a hairdryer is really helpful. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of your wick and place it on the corner of your beeswax sheet. You're going to fold over the corner of your beeswax of your beeswax onto the end of your wick you're going to unravel your wick so that your wick is nice and flat and straight and you're going to press over the other corner on the other side so that it looks a little bit like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to roll the edge of your wax over your wick so that your wick stays in place like this you can't see it at all you still got your long length you will need some scissors that I've just found cut your wick off so you've got a nice couple of centimeters left and that is going to be the top of your candle then what you can do is if it is a cooler day like it is today you can take your Hair dryer and gently warm your sheet. Now, when you're warming your sheet, if you accidentally warm it too much, it will go white. Leave it until it, it cools down a bit because if you work with it when it goes white, you've overheated it and you will actually tear your sheet. So once it's a little bit warmer, you're going to spread your fingers out and you're going to start rolling up your candle. Now the tighter you get your candle, the better and longer it will burn for you because it reduces the amount of air in it. You're going to be pressing down either with the middle parts of your fingers or you can actually use the heel of your hand. It just depends on what is more comfortable and you will work that out as you go. So at the moment I'm putting my thumbs down on my board and I'm using my fingers to push the wax, curl the wax up. But you can use your palms of your hand if you're not as dexterous or you're working with young little teeny tiny hands. You can actually use the heel of your hand and you use your fingers and you roll, use your fingers to roll your wax sheet up. So the type, the way that you're going to be rolling it is going to be similar to how you might knead gingerbread dough or pizza dough. So you're going to be using a little bit of tension but not too much. And as you roll it up, you can use either method as you can see that I'm doing. And you're going to be paying attention to one edge. Don't try and roll both edges up neatly, just concentrate on one, so either the bottom or the top. Because if you try and make the uh, roll match both edges, you'll actually end up doing this and you'll roll a very skew with candle. But if you just concentrate on looking and rolling to one edge, the other edge will actually follow quite nicely. So. Try not to roll away from you too much. Keep pulling it back towards you because your 
uh, way over the top of your hands will actually give you a nice tight roll. And that last little bit, just gently warm it and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over it a couple of times. Then with the heel of your thumb, you're going to just press it in slightly so that you can't see the seam. You're going to tuck the end in like this with the heel of your thumb again. So this one here, when you're holding your candle, try not to press really hard because we want to retain this beautiful hexagonal pattern. So if you, if you really squeeze it hard, especially if you're working with little teeny tiny hands, they do like to scrunch. Try and encourage them to just gently hold it and using the heel of their thumb to gently tuck the tail in like that so it sits nicely in whatever handle holder that you end up using and then sometimes you might have a little bit at the top where you just need to tuck in as well we're just going to tuck that around your candle wick so that it's nice and neat and that will be your candle <laughs>